hello everybody and welcome uh, in this video i will show you guys how to connect uh, snowflake database with the python pandas data frame as some of you may know that snowflake is a, a cloud-based data warehouse so if you have a snowflake account and if you want to use your uh, data set or database or any table uh, which is exist in the snowflake uh, warehouse you can easily connect them from your pythons pandas uh, data frame so there are two uh, i mean interface we're gonna discuss in here one is snowflake and another one is uh, pythons uh, pandas data frame as you can see in the screen is a um, snowflake uh, interface uh, in the right hand side you can see the user is uh, login and this is the name of the user and as a user is logged in as a sysadmin some of you may know that if you in the left hand side there are some information relating to this account uh, the schema is the data set database name is my underscore test database schema name there are two schema in here one is information underscore schema and another one is public schema inside the public schema there is a table called customer table so once anytime you hover over you can see the information about that component once if uh, we hover over into the um, customer table we can see that there are 4014 rows in that table now if we click preview the data we can see this is the data inside that table and also if we click once into the customer table we can see there are various variables in there like customer and the name then the surname gender is region and all others so total there are nine variable in there and also from here in this screen we have to remember that this is the name of the account which is like starting from wo2 until the uh, dot so this is the name of the account so this part is the uh, basic description of the snowflake part now we need we need this uh, some of this information whenever we're gonna work into our pythons part so to work on the python we need to install two library down there we have the anaconda prompt so from the uh, using that anaconda prompt because i use anaconda uh, uh, anaconda ide to work on the python and work with the pandas data frame and once if we need to install any new packages we have to use anaconda prompt i have um, uh, copy paste some of the information which two library we actually need first of all we need uh, this library so there are only two library you need to uh, install using the anaconda so let's uh, install this to library i am installing control c and into the anaconda prompt say control b now if we enter then we can see that it is uh, done its job and required is already satisfied which means i already installed these packages before so if you don't install it it will do the job for you another library for me is this one Control c you can get the name of these two library from the documentation of the snowflake which we, which i will show very soon Control v now if see this one also is satisfied the reason is i have already downloaded and this um, two packages to work with the anaconda so that means my package downloading and installation is done now my job is to work with the anaconda prompt i as i mean the with the job jupyter notebook so uh, as you know once if you have the anaconda so if this is my anaconda uh, anaconda navigator and you have to click the jupyter launch and then it will open into the browser for you so this is the um this is the jupyter notebook part and then uh, first thing is we have to import the snowflake dot connector library this is our first job and so we have to and then also we have to actually import um pandas p a n d s pandas as pd 
So we need these two libraries. So control enter that means our library has been these two library has been imported in here. And then next thing is we have to bring couple of uh, component to uh, to introduce uh, this uh, uh, to introduce this notebook with the um, with the um, snowflake. So first of all, we make a connection. We'll make a name it as a con snowflake dot connector dot connect. We have to remember this is the way we call it one and we need couple of information what is the username what is the password so whenever you open an account with the snowflake you must have two things one is username and another one is password you have to mention in here and then account name this part is very important account name most of the people do some mistake in here so account name actually should be starting from this part till uh, uh, dot so that mean uh, uh, starting from W till 2. So this is the name of the account which I bring in here and then warehouse from the snowflake part we have seen that the name of the warehouse is actually uh, uh, computer uh, compute underscore W H this is the name of the warehouse and the name of the database I mentioned before my underscore test and the schema is public. So we have to mention this information in here and then say control enter which means I, I run this code and there was no error in there that mean this uh, and the, uh, uh, this Jupyter notebook been connected with the snowflake properly now we can get any of our data. So to do that we have to create a cursor variable which I named curs and then using this connection we have to use the C U R S or cursor or commands in here. So by this running this code, we can get a cursor uh, cursor for using the connector. Once after but once after we do that, we have to use this line cursor execute and then to once if we do that, then it will it will connect with the snowflake as an administrator sysadmin. So that's why we need cursor execute use role as sysadmin. Now my part is our part is to write down the SQL command. So as you have seen in here the name of the table was the customer table. So from that customer table where the name of the schema is uh, public uh, we need all the data. So this is the we, we write down this SQL command in here. Now we have to execute this SQL command using this uh, information cars dot execute sql and then from this line we get all the data so all the information also in uh, also written in the inside the co uh, command so until here we get the we write down the sql command and then we execute that sql command and then we get all the data and put all the data into a data frame called df so i run this code that means that code is executed properly. After then to see the data we have written data df. Now all the data is in here. So for verification purpose as you can see in here 4014 4, rows which we also can see in here uh, 4014 rows. And then if you see uh, the first customer is Simon, second customer is Jasmine but into the pandas first customer first data data is defined as a zero number zero and then second one is number one so see simon and jasmine which means that we probably nicely pinch the data from the snowflake and put it into the pandas data frame now we can use this data and do any any kind of operation in here so guys this is the, uh, uh, all about the session today 